guys, how's it going and welcome to the channel. Um, this is a new channel, we have called it Bloxit. Uh, on this channel we're going to be doing some tutorials in Blender and Roblox Studio and try to combine it and basically try to do a bunch of things in Blender and we're going to take it into Roblox Studio and maybe do some more there. And uh, yeah, so that's what this channel will be about, so hopefully you guys will enjoy. So the thing we're going to be doing today is uh, make something in Blender and import it into Roblox Studio. Now, I know there's a bunch of tutorials out there uh, showing how to do it, but this is more going to be like a series where we do a bunch of things and basically get better at Blender um, as we go. There will be a few experimenting uh, streams as well, and maybe even videos where we experiment with um, Blender, try to do a bunch of uh, cool things. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, so we're going to try to do something in Blender. I am familiar with the program, but a lot of people may not be. So we're going to start from scratch. Um, so basically how you use Blender um, to move around, you can use this thing up here um, and you can use that to move around with. You can just click the uh, middle mouse button and uh, that's easier if you want to do it fast. Um, if you hold shift and you do the same, it's going to move like this. It's going to move on like a flat surface, a, a, a face basically. Um, but uh, we, we, we don't want that. We just want to uh, look, look at the pot here. And to zoom in, you just use the scroll wheel. And uh, yeah, that's like the basic movement in Blender. Now, if you want to uh, click on a pot, if, if you want to select a pot, you just go ahead and click on it and you can use these tools over here. You can use move, um, and we use this to move the thing on different axes. Um, we have the Z axis, the Y axis, and the X axis. Now, you can also move it on the on the surface or you know, one, one of the axes itself, like this. Um, to do this, you can also press G and just move it freely around um, wherever you want. Um, and then we also have, just like in Roblox Studio, a rotate tool. Um, it explains itself, uh, you use it to rotate things, uh, really easy to use, also the same axis. So yeah, and then we have a scaling tool. Now the scaling tool is a bit strange, but you'll, you'll get to know it after some time. So you basically scale from both sides, um, as you can see here, it will scale, uh, so, so it's basically still in the middle, it's going to be centered here. Um, now it's it's not too complicated but if you if you want to scale the whole thing up you're gonna have to use uh, shift so if you click on shift and hold that and then you uh, click here and scale it up you can basically scale the whole thing as seen here um, and yeah that's like the basic stuff uh, in blender so if we go back here um, we don't need this this is a camera it's gonna be there uh, once you open up blender and same with the light, we don't need that. So we're just gonna right click and press delete. All right, so when that's done, we are, we've are uh, we been left with uh, this cube right here. Now to go into edit mode, you can press uh, tab and that will basically show uh, the vertices uh, right here. And vertices are these things right here on each corner. Now, if you press two, you can select these, the, the sidelines and if you press uh, number three, you should be able to select phases here. Now that's like the very basic of, uh, of Blender, but we also have some tools out here, which uh, we can use on or in Blender. Uh, up here, we have a few uh, things. This is mostly for renders, but here is a finished render, as you can see here. Just hover your mouse over it and you can see what it's for. So this is a uh, viewport shading and we have a uh, viewport shading again, but this is like a lighter one. Um, really good when you make uh, textures and stuff, uh, then you can actually see them. Um, here is just a solid uh, viewport shading and here is the wireframing. So basically wireframing makes you, uh, well it, it allows you to look through uh, blocks or any pots that you have. Uh, you can also do this even though you have the solid one, you just need to click on this little thing, the x-ray, boom. So just like that, and uh, that's how you look through pots. Now, we want to do this uh, because um, we're going to try to experiment a bit with these tools out here. So if we click on bevel, for example, and we want these to be like, um, like let's say we want this cube to be like a pet in a simulator. So you just want to click on this white thing and you just drag it 
you should get these uh, it should bevel it now if you use the scroll wheel you can make more loop cuts here and if we do that and we go out of uh, x-ray and we press tab again then we're now out of editing or out of editing mode uh, and you can see this um, and that's how it looks and if you right click and select shade smooth it's gonna look just like a pet from a simulator now let's say we want to um, import this into Roblox what you want to do is you want to go up here um, and click on file and then you click on export and make sure you do it or uh, save it as an OBJ file this is because it's an object and OBJ stands for object so wavefront OBJ and once you have that you can save it anywhere you want I'm gonna save it on my desktop and I'm gonna save it as uh, simulator pet there we go um, now if you want to um, only let's say we have two pets here but you only want to export one of them you need to click on that pet and then you click up here on um, select selection only which means that the thing you selected in blender is the only thing that it will export now you don't need to do anything else than that and um, once you've given it a name you just click on export obj so now it's working and you just wait two seconds and it should be exported there we go it's on my desktop cool so now what you want to do you head over to Roblox and you go to create and um, if you already have a game I'm gonna go into this one called assets right here waiting for it to load and here we go um, here are some few meshes that I've made um, over the time I've made it a lot more but those are some of the best anyway um, so how do you import it into Roblox well first off you need to head up here to view and then you click on properties and Explorer this will open these two menus and they're really really useful when in Roblox studio um, you may have seen it a lot if you if you're already into developing if you're already into building or scripting um, and yeah it's, it's really useful uh, so you want to go up here in, in the Explorer menu and you click on this little arrow, the workspace, so you can basically open it. And then you want to click on this little plus icon, the little white icon. And then in this, you want to search up mesh pop and you insert that. And then uh, you just click on it and in the properties here, you can see everything about it, like behavior, data, stuff like that, appearance. And in appearance, you want to go to mesh ID and click on this little thing. Once you've done that, you find the file that you saved, click on that, and yes, we want to import it. All right, and it should spawn here at origin. And boom, there we go. It's now in Roblox. So from here on, we can uh, decorate it with, you know, antlers, stuff like that, eyes, um, but we can also make it smooth plastic, which is it's gonna give it that nice glow that you see on simulator pets. We can also give it like a color. Um, if we make it a bit more like that or like that. Um, we now have a pet here. So, well, we have to base the body of a pet. So let's say it's gonna be a lion or, or something, maybe a dog. Then you can make like the small faces and stuff like the small emojis. Now you can also do this in Blender if you want to. But um, this was just to show how you use Blender, uh, the basic stuff, and how you import into Roblox Studio. So uh, yeah, I hope this uh, helped you guys out with your uh, Blender projects and how you uh, use Blender and, and import it into Roblox Studio. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Um, it will let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Just like if you didn't. And uh, yeah, maybe even subscribe if you want more. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, it's been Bloxit and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.